literary hero. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Bud Series. Sit back, relax, and we'll jump right into today's video. What happened to Eleven's powers? Eleven's powers have always been at the center of Stranger Things' biggest mysteries, but by the end of Season 3, those powers are nowhere to be seen. It's not exactly clear where Elle's powers went or why she lost them, but the show gives us a few hints to go on. The most obvious explanation is that the Mind Flayer and his giant blobby monster made out of people stuck one of its many tentacle mouths on Eleven's leg. Along with a pretty gruesome wound, the monster also puts a tiny version of itself inside Elle. While most of the characters seem convinced that the Mind Flayer wants to kill Elle and maybe even absorb her powers, it seems pretty likely that the tiny version of the blob monster was slowly sapping Eleven's powers while inside her leg, especially since the next several times we see her try to use her powers, they don't work. Did Hopper die, or is he still alive? At the end of the season, Hopper sacrifices himself by holding off the giant Russian Terminator Man long enough for Joyce to turn the keys and blow up the portal machine. When it explodes, we're left with the impression that Hopper's dead, but we've all seen enough movies and shows with death at this point to know one specific fact. If we don't see a dead body, a killed character might still be alive. Who is the American in the post credit scene? In the post credit scene of Stranger Things 3, two Russian soldiers feed a protesting prisoner to a previously unknown demogorgon. Before that, however, one of them stops in front of another cell door to unlock it before his partner says, no, not the American. In this case, the American must be someone that we already know. The most optimistic answer is Hopper. If he somehow managed to survive the explosion, there's a chance that he could have ended up in Soviet hands. The other possibility is Dr. Brenner, the scientist who helmed the Hawkins lab experiments. Despite the fact that he got attacked by the Demogorgon in Season 1, we never saw the aftermath. Furthermore, a former Hawkins security guard told Eleven and Kali that Brenner was still alive. Why did the buyers and Eleven move away? Business on Main Street might be booming again since the mall shut down, but Hawkins still isn't such a happy place for the buyers family. Too much has happened there, from Will getting taken by the Demogorgon and possessed by the Mind Flayer, to Bob's death by Demodog in Season 2. Hopper revealed that Joyce had put up her house on the market for sale during Season 3, and although she might have stayed if things had turned out differently between the two characters, this was no happy ending for Joyce. With Hopper dead, the buyers have absorbed Eleven into their family, which means she has to go with them, leaving Mike behind. Will there be a Stranger Things Season 4 and beyond? Netflix hasn't officially announced it yet, but Stranger Things producer and director Sean Levy seems pretty certain there will be a Season 4. As he told Collider last year, quote, I will say we have a good sense of stuff that happens in Season 4. Season 4 is definitely happening. There's very much the possibility of a season beyond that one. That's currently undecided." End of quote. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.